Are you ready? Ready. Go. So this is a model of the middle and inner ear. So if we have sound waves coming in, vibrating against the tympanic membrane, this would be outer ear. As we get to the medial side of the tympanic membrane, we're now in the middle ear. And the middle ear, again, is where we're going to find the auditory ossicles, malleus, incus, and stapes. On the bottom side of the stapes is where we're going to find the oval window. You can't see it underneath here, but this is where the stapes bone is basically going to sit right on top of the vestibule. So the oval window is here. This region is the vestibule. As we look at one side of the vestibule, we have the semicircular canals. Again, these are going to be involved in dynamic equilibrium. If we look at this side of the vestibule, this is where we see the cochlea. So sound waves that come in are going to move through this all the way to the tip and all the way back. As we vibrate from the oval window all the way to the top, all the way back down, until we hit this other membrane, the round window. If you look inside this cochlea, you can actually see um, the different ducts that we have inside here. There's a vestibular duct, there's a cochlear duct, there's a tympanic duct, and again, we're going to be coming all the way up and all the way back down, vibrating all the while. You'll also notice on here two branches of nerves. There is a vestibular branch there is a cochlear branch, which makes up cranial nerve number eight, the vestibulocochlear nerve.